Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the next episode of Irrelevant Reviews. As usual, we have Terry. Hello. And myself. I'm Lewis. Thank you for joining us. Now, I know many of you are used to our, uh, what, how would you say, our, our uh, very high-end reviews of various products, uh, usually consumer, but sometimes we specialize. Uh, like uh, last month, we did the, uh, the sensors that they were using for LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Observatory. That's uh, right. Yeah, and we yeah. compared sensors to help them out, uh, and I think we made some, some good choices. Definitely. Uh, we had, uh, oh, we had the little uh, the electron beam gun palooza, uh, remember? That, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a good one. That was pretty crazy. Anyway, they, I got to keep a souvenir there in case I needed to uh, vaporize something in a vacuum. Uh, but anyway, you know, one thing that keeps popping up on our list, and we've never really had time to get around to it because it's, oh, I'll be honest, it's not that fun, <laughs> but it's something that you want, and you have asked us for this repeatedly over and over again. So today we decided, you know, let's do this. Let's just get this one off the list uh, because it's what the public wants. So as you probably surmised already, it's uh, we are going to do a comparison review of two of well-known products. We have the Ziploc uh, gallon freezer bag, and uh, this is a local uh, here in Oregon uh, Bymart storage bag, also a gallon. And we're going to compare these two and uh, see if we can come up with a clear winner and uh, best value, as we normally try to do. Uh, so why don't we start? Um, and again, we understand that these are not extremely scientific reviews, right? But the, I mean, they are more subjective than anything, but that's why there's two of us. We have different uh, backgrounds and different uh, opinions, and yeah. so you kind of get a, a wide range of, uh, of opinion here. So we're going to start and just look at the packaging. What do you think? Uh, you know, I, I really like, I like the blue. It, it seems like that that's a much cooler color for a bag. When, it, when I think bags, I don't, I don't think red, like anger and fire. I think, oh, I get to put my food away. That's nice. It's relaxing. It's blue. And it's in a cold freezer, maybe, exactly, as opposed yeah. to a hot oven. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to put these in an oven. No, I mean, the bacteria would fester. Yeah. Uh, things would develop. It would create... Projectile vomiting or explosive diarrhea or something, probably if you consume something like that after putting it in the bag in the oven, right? Potentially, yeah. <laughs> Just leaving it there for a week. You don't want to put those no. in there. And the other thing I noticed, too, it's the, the choice of, like, the red meat, or I'm assuming that's meat. Which it is, looks like it, yeah. Yeah, which is something you would put it. They've got corn on this one. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what's up with the corn. I've never frozen corn before. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's really know. not good the next day. It's yeah. Kind of, it's just well, kind of hard. I don't and... know. You just uncooked almost. Yeah, like it uncooks it if you put it in the fridge. Right. No, it's it's kind of a mystery to me. But anyway, mm -hmm. let's get into it. now. Obviously, I could, we can't really get into the value of these. I will tell you, uh, this one cost uh, three ninety nine. It comes, but it's a quantity of forty. And I apologize. We it's kind of a you know an apples and oranges comparison. We got one forty and one twenty eight box. So Ooh. it's you know, <laughs> I'm sure that they have a forty also. Uh, had I been more vigilant, I would have bought that one, and we could do a direct value comparison. I assume the box would be bigger, though, so this this is good. Well, that's interesting. There. That's Comparison a good point. There. I mean, this one has 40 bags. This mm -hmm. has 28, and they're both yeah. a gallon size. Right. That is a, that's a very interesting observation, and yet this box is much more wasteful, much bigger. Yeah. Uh, I will say, uh, yes, this one came out to uh, about nine ninety seven a bag. Excuse me, <laughs> nine. Nine... Uh, uh, nine point nine seven cents per bag. Sorry, yeah. I have to be careful about this sort of stuff. I will get a lot of bad comments if uh -huh. I screw something up. Yeah, that. don't screw up. <laughs> no, no. Uh, this one came out to about twelve point five cents a bag. Uh, anyway, that's that's your value comparison. And again, it's you really can't compare them because they're totally different size uh, quantities. Exactly. So <laughs> you just wasted a minute of your life. <laughs> anyway, so now accessing the bag. Yes. There are two very different uh, systems here. This yes. one has a rectangle with the perforations, uh, and it, it goes cleanly around. It was kind of centered. This one has the, what I think, and you could disagree, the more uh, traditional triangle. 
Yes. So the perforation's here, and then it cuts down like that. Kind of, yeah, a double triangle. Yeah, so it's on the corner. Mm -hmm. So, you know, part of this is going to depend what kind of drawer you put in. Right. You know, because if you have, and you notice this one's a little bit taller, if you put this in a regular drawer and you're accessing them out of the top of the box, it could get jammed up in there. You've got to, you need to measure the height of your drawer before you purchase this one because it's a little bit taller. And I hate that, you know, you kind of jam it, you close the door and it gets, yeah. and it gets stuck. It and can skim across the top. Exactly. We, we exactly. No. We can't, we no. Can't have that. The no skim zone, as we like to say. <laughs> yeah. Now, this one is more, again, more traditional. You can put it in the corner of the drawer and still access it from a 45 degree angle. So you don't have to come straight in from the top, exactly. you don't have to come straight in from the side. This one can't do the side, obviously. This one is strictly... Well, oh! Oh! <laughs> you can turn it on its side. That's a good point. And you can, you can access it from the side. And that's why there's two of us. Because one of us is always thinking outside the box. In this case, <laughs> outside this box. So. Yes. Uh, now, you will notice though the form factor it is taller that way. So it if is. you have a, a, you know, a taller form factor drawer, then right. this might work for you. Uh, you really have to be careful if you want to access this from the side. You have to make sure that the space you're putting it in is tall enough. Yes. It's risky otherwise. Yes. You could damage the box. Yes. 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 We don't want to damage the box. They weren't really? designed for this. Mm -hmm. uh, they're designed for holding freezer bags, you know? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, um, let's, let's do... Uh, Let's talk about the actual opening of the box, shall we? The uh, oh, yeah. and again, this is very subjective. You know, some mm -hmm. of you out there might, you know, be extremely strong, have very strong, nimble fingers, and it might be easier for you. Others might struggle with some of these. Now, I will say you can't. And I'm sorry, I should show you a close up here, but uh, I'm too lazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> the the one with the triangular perforations, they're much bigger. So it's like, you know, in an inch or maybe in a. Let's do this. I can I can tell you exactly on this one. In a. Uh, in about a two inch space, we've got about six kind of sawtooth perforations. Uh, so th those are big. Now in this one, in a two inch space, I'm not even gonna try to count oh, that. That's... There's probably like 30 little teeny ones. So, you know, if you are inclined for the larger perforation, this would be the logical choice. However, if you like more perforations per yeah. square inch, then the Ziploc the, uh, it would be uh, your choice there. And, and that's probably where a big part of these deviate. Yeah, you, get, you get more perforations per dollar value versus this one. Good point. So Yeah, so to give you an accurate, you know, we, we would have to you know, count those and stuff <laughs> and then tell you exactly, you know, how much of a fraction of a cent each one of those is worth. And, and we're not going to do that today, but, uh, I, I, you know, it's, it's something you could, if you think about it and you, you feel it's important, you know, put it in the comments, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's talk about, why don't you do that and, we'll, and I'll do this and let's, what is it like to, how do you release this? Do you, do you poke down with your thumb, if you put down? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay. going the thumb. Really. All right, Ooh. I'm going to do the thumb too. You've got a corner. Yeah, and well, okay, yeah, and this is why we do this, folks, so you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> See, because when I did that, it bent the side of the box, oh. and it actually put, it kind of tore oh, yeah. a little bit there. And I was being pretty gentle. You can go back and play it again on the tape, but it's, uh, yeah. yeah, so I've already put a slice there on the side. This is, <laughs> it's a little messy if you ask me. And you can go down like he's doing, or you can also go up, but oh, that, that's oh. risky because it can rip, it can rip yeah. the box. You, you don't, see, you don't yeah. necessarily want to do Which that. Which is, I mean, that's actually rather funny. We both ripped the box, but we I did. was pushing down, he was pulling up. So you can rip the box no matter which direction you're exactly. going. Exactly, you don't know. You it's, really don't know. It's very unpredictable. <laughs> um, so let's just, uh, so if I try to pull up there, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it, it's not the cleanest cut I've seen, but, uh, you know, it's not bad. Yeah. And as you can see, you have a box full of uh, gallon-sized Ziploc freezer bags. Uh, you could use that for something, I, I'm no. not sure, but it's a nice, uh, it, yeah. If you're wearing a shirt that doesn't have a logo. Right, exactly. It's, it's a suitable for framing. Or uh, perhaps, let's see, is it long enough if you could form a bracelet out of it? Maybe. Um, let's see. Yes. 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 So I mean, with a little glue, Gorilla Glue, maybe one of those, you know, those Velcro things. I've got like a Wonder Woman bracelet here. Well, Ooh. not really. She, I think she was more of a hefty gal, but no, yeah. <laughs> it's supposed uh. to glad. <laughs> that's a joke. It's not even a glad. That's a Ziploc. Ziploc. That's Johnson and Johnson. All right, or something, or just Johnson. S C Johnson. S C. Oh, yeah. Okay. They're a family company. 
Okay, gotcha. <laughs> anyway, so a bottom line, you could do something with this if you if you were a, a frugal type. Yes. So we got that off, you know, some minor dings here and stuff, but we've got, you know, we've got all our access to the bags there, and uh, we'll, we'll get into taking those out in yes. a minute. Let's let's catch up ahead. So this time, why don't we? Uh, We'll just kind of put it here, and uh, here you start on that end. I'll start here, and we'll do. This is the one of the bigger perforations. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, this is just moving right along. That, that was nice. That was. The, that was impressive. Uh, and you can either, you know, you can either bend that at the joint, or you can just looks like you can just keep going. You can go down the bottom as well. All right. So. I don't think we have any tears there. No, that, that I was... I mean, you be the judge, but uh, I see no tears there. And you can see the nice uh, triangular form factor. Uh, and again, it's it's not as big as the other one, but it has a seam in it, so you can bend it. You could make a maybe a, like a paper airplane out of that or you something. Could. You know. Uh, and it folds in the middle, see, so you can store it better. Nice. To keep it and this is all about storage, right? <laughs> I mean, that's what we're here for. We're just, exactly. This is a, a storage product. In fact, well, here, you keep those here for me. Yeah. They'll be curious to see how well they thought this through right. in a minute. In a minute. So, for, uh, so I would have to say, going, you know, first up, you know, the opening of the box, uh, the buy mart has to win. Buy mart by yeah. a wide margin. I think we can conclude that the larger perforations. Are, yes. Are easier. Yeah, I think if uh, we had to come to one, yeah. uh, that, that, that was easier to work. All right, now let's each take turns. So let's uh, pull one out of the box and, and let's right. compare. So, now interesting here, you'll see, you don't actually see the Ziploc part of the bag here. Ooh, you're right. So, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It means that it's not exposed. Yeah. Because, you know, if you have the, the, the zip part, the lip exposed, things could get into it. A spider or you could drop... You know, something off the counter could get in there and it could end up somehow in that bag. So here you're kind of protected. You know, you pull it out and... Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Woot. Woot there it indeed. is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's not too shabby. Go ahead and try one yourself just so you can All feel right. it. It has Ooh. a very uh, kind of a smooth action. Very smooth. I, I really like this. That's nice. There's really no friction. I mean, it's kind of weird. It's like an outer space kind of thing. It's you, a, And you pull it out upside down. So... Really, it's it's right. Nothing's gonna fall into the lip. It's like the box is kind of giving birth to the bag. Yes, it's yeah. like a birthing bag. Yeah. Yes. So now that 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 was nice. That was a nice smooth action there. I yeah. I'm impressed with that. Let's uh let's try a ziplock ziplock here and see. Well, to be fair, we're gonna do it from the side, kind of like that one was. Yeah. Uh, now here, this is a little more confusing. See, with this one, you only have one choice because right. it's folded over. So I grabbed and just one bag. Here, it's a little confusing. I don't know if you can see that well, but there's a whole bunch of bags here. So I kind of have to reach in and, and kind of make commit. I, I have to commit to this. I have to make a choice about which one. I mean, that one, I like, mm, maybe I want that one over there. I don't know. You know, it's going to depend how I feel at the time when I'm putting, when I need a, a freezer bag. So exactly. it, it, again, it's not a good or a bad thing. It just, it's a, it's it's a different. preference, you know, and some people might prefer this. So I'm going to pull this out. Oh, a little bit of binding. See what you think. And it pulled one up too. Now, interestingly enough, when I pulled out the Bimart bag, I, I kind of had a relaxed position when I was right. pulling it out. Here, you kind of have to shift your hand just to get it in the right. You're right, and you're using this is kind of more more like a the what do they call that the Swedish uh, inverted S yes. grip formation that he's using right. on this one, which because of, I think because of the added friction would help. Yeah. This one you didn't need it. You could do the straight. Uh, uh, I don't know what do you call that one. I can't remember. It's, uh, uh, it's kind of the the Belgian forty five. It goes at yes, a 45 yes, every angle. Yeah. <laughs> exactly the Belgian forty five. Which yes. uh, again, if there's no friction, you can get away with that, and it is a very efficient grip. It is. So, so what did you think of that one there, though? The it, it's kind of a it's 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 a less relaxed movement. This one this one flows very well. Yes. This one the advantage I think the only advantage it has is that you can choose which bag you get. This is true. So you don't, if, if the next bag in Bimart happens to be damaged and you pull it out, you're right. out of luck. But, but although yeah. you can't really see the bag here, I right. mean, you're grabbing for one. Uh, this one I was a little concerned. I thought I was actually going to pull another bag out. Ooh, you see yeah. how it kind of came up yeah, like it, that? Yeah, that, that? It's like, and then again, because it's a taller box, when you put it back into the drawer, 
that could impinge on the back of the you know it could it could That's snag terrible just sound. something to keep in mind yeah, yeah yeah exactly and i'm still not quite sure on why the 28 bags takes up so much space when the 40 it just seems like maybe they put a little bit more thought into the packaging of the bimart bag yes so and again now if we look at these uh, I mean, there's, there's some apparent differences that just kind of jump right out of it. First of all, the Ziploc has the little uh, area for labeling here. So you can use a, uh, yes. a marker, or you could write what's in the bag. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and that's, now, you know, of course, you could still do that on this bag, it just doesn't have the white background. So, right. you know, if you're kind of a traditionalist and you're looking for contrast, um, this might be your preference. Exactly. Uh, so, and then of course you have multi-colors in this one. You've got a kind of a, I don't know what you call that, a fuchsia and a, Ooh, yes. I don't know, it's almost a, like a purple blue. It's a... Yeah, indigo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, that's very interesting. And it has this angled lip right yes. there. You see, this one's flat on the top. Mm -hmm. So that kind of makes it a little bit easier to grab one half of this when you pull it open. You know, so it makes it a little easier to access it. Because the lip is only on one side. Exactly, yes. It's a single lip uh, delivery system. The, right. They tried the double lips and it really didn't make sense. Uh, and those haven't been around for probably 10 years. So <laughs> Any of you out there know what I'm talking about. You're, you're as old as I am. <laughs> some of you probably have some still in your drawer. Yes. <laughs> uh, this one, I, I, both... Lips are equal, so yeah. at the same height. So you do have to kind of get your finger in there mm -hmm. uh, and pull. Uh, and then let's see about reattaching. Um, this one, you apply a, a nice uh, even pressure. That seems to have held. Uh, let's look at this one here. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, well, that's interesting. I just tried to, I did try to do a little quick one there, and it did not go in but I press a little bit harder uh -huh. uh, and it engages so you know it's a uh, so why don't we let's do our first test here and see since we've got these here uh just to be fair let's pull two clean ones uh, because we've been messing yeah. oh you know the one thing I want to do here because I know you guys are going to get on me about this if I don't do it uh let's see now um so the Bimart let's see how well they can handle their own tops oh yes so let's try that, and then here, why don't you do the Bimart, and I'll do the Ziploc. How's that? Okay, and yeah. we'll see. Uh, uh, it kind of makes sense that they should be able to store right. the debris. Exactly. Right? I mean, so we're going to open. It's nice. It fits in. I can fit it completely in there without having to angle it, which I really like. I don't like having to put it in a weird angle. Yeah. Uh, it goes in. You know, it's got a little bit of motion, a little bit of play. How's that one doing? It's it's doing equally well, and I don't I don't have to fold it in half, which is nice. Nice, yeah. Because there was there was one bag that I saw one time, and you had to you almost had to quarter it. Ooh. You had to put you know for the quarters just a and it was just a it was a really bad design. But no, this seems to do a good job. You can still see clearly through it what the product is. Mm -hmm. So you could, if you're worried, you know, let's say you need to go to the store and buy another box. And you're not quite sure what it is, you put that in the bag and put it in the car and take it exactly. with you. So when you get there, you can take this into the store and, uh, you know, you can kind of match it up with what's on the shelf. It's right here, but it's not going to get dirty or greasy or anything because it's in the protective bag. Exactly. You know, and then you could write the date on here as to when you opened it also. Right. And just kind of, you could fold it up maybe and just kind of insert it in the back of the bag like that or the box. So you always know when it was that you opened this box, uh, yes. which is, it's a nice feature. It's kind of like, you know, if you put dates on spices or food that you've opened in the refrigerator, you know, it helps you remember, oh yeah, I opened that back in June. Maybe I shouldn't use those anymore. Maybe they're degrading or something. I don't know. Um, you bring up an interesting point. Putting the bag back in the box with the top on it. Yes. Now, how, you've demonstrated that that's easy to do with the Ziploc. But how oh easy is it boy! With Bimart, I think we found a weak link in the chain. It's because of the triangular side. You can't yeah. see this one. I can it's... find room in here to put it in there, but this one it looks like it's vomiting the top. It does. Right I mean, at first, what did we say? It was the birthing bags. Yes. And now it's, now it's the barfing well, it's bags. Barfing bags. 
Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's uh, that's so that's not necessarily a practical thing to do with the Bymart one, and that's something to keep in mind if that's important to you. Some things aren't important, you know. Some people yeah. would, may maybe there's a few people out there who would never do this, right. never even thought of this until they saw this video. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. So, alrighty, so why don't you, let's do a couple of our quasi-scientific uh, tests here for those that, uh, for the people that are into the specs and, oh. you know, and we'll, we'll offer our opinions and whatnot, but we want to give you some measurements on these so you have a, a good uh, feel on what we're doing. Right. Why don't we see if you can measure the force required to open the lip of the bag. Okay, yeah. So we'll use the hook there. If you want to hold it, and don't set, well, no, yeah. <laughs> there we go, is it sealed? Making sure there's no air in there. Yes, to air is human. <laughs> Some, sometimes. Yes. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to put the little hook around the lip. And if you can keep that supported, uh, keep that supported. Whoops. It's, it's hard to keep supported. Yeah. Because the lip is, lip is flimsy. So I'm going to pull back, and we'll be able to measure the spring tension. So tell me, I'm going to watch the spring. You tell me when it starts to separate. Are we on the camera? Yeah, there we are. All right, we are up... Uh, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two pounds. Oh. Two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarter, three I pounds. The, the, Woo! Hook, the hooks is actually going through the bag there. Three and a <laughs> Well, let's see which goes first, if it opens or if the hook goes through. The hook okay. goes through. Well, that's good. It went up to about uh, the three and three quarters there. The yeah. hook perforated the lip. So yeah. that's a strong seal. It really is. So let's see... Uh, you know, the, uh, and again, this wasn't really designed to test that on right. this type of material, mm -hmm. but that's, that's a, an interesting item. Let's, let's just for fun, yeah, let's, let's see, see if it will open the bag before it perforates it. Because that tells me that's a strong bag. Yes. You know, it didn't open. You know, it would rather get punctured than be open. Yeah, you want so. to punk, you don't, it, it's not a problem to puncture the zip part. Right. It's not storing the food up there. Exactly. So this one has less of a footing here. It's this, less this zip part harder. to grab onto. So this one may be difficult to do with this particular implement. Mm -hmm. um, all right. You know, let's try it different way so I can actually read the... Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay. We've got it nested. All right, we're up to one. Oh, I'm going to kill your ramps. I'm sorry, my bad. I was looking at the wrong, I was looking at the wrong index. Suddenly we went metric. Metric, oh We no. got to do apples and apples, yeah, not yeah. apples and pomegranates. All right. Let's see. So this, <laughs> this, this one is, this tells me, just trying to hook this on here, that it might be kind of hard for me to grab it with my fingers if, if I can't yeah. get purchase of this uh, little pointy thing. I'm going to try to keep, if you've got the sides there, I'll try to just keep it over the thing. But I'm not pulling against it. I want to be clear about that. Um, oh, yeah, this is... Let's try that right there. Okay. Okay. So we're up to one, one three quarter, two, two and a quarter, two and three quarter, three, three and a quarter, three and a half, three and three quarter, four, four and a quarter, whoa, four and a half, four and three quarters, five. Um, wow. Five and a quarter, five and a half, five and three quarters, six. I don't want this to come back and hit us in the face. Uh, this is impressive. I, you know, I, again, because although I know I'm sure there's people out there that like to see this go further until one of us gets smacked in the eye, <laughs> I'm going to hold off there uh, and just say that yeah. we went two pounds past that one. Well, again, this one we didn't take it to open. It just perforated. But that tells me that's a, A, it's a good perfor, I mean, it's a good zip yes. seal. And B, it's a, it's a, it's a frankly a tougher plastic than I was anticipating. It didn't yeah. puncture it. I don't know any. I would I would just like to point out that even though this is a very strong zip on both bags, they're not really that hard to open. So if if that's yeah. something you think from from watching this, the strength of the zip, yeah, does good not, point, does not. Yeah, we <laughs> how easy or hard it is to open. Yeah, we don't want to dissuade anybody out there from purchasing these because oh my god, I won't be able to open that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, like... your kids could open this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all right, well that's uh, that was an interesting test. So I'm gonna you know I made a note here that this one, uh, and that one was uh, what did I say three and three quarter. All right, so let's uh, 
Well, let's try the next test then. Um, uh, We're just going to use a simple thermometer and uh, just to uh, see uh, what the room temperature there, or what the temperature inside that bag is, is just through regular use. Uh, you know, if it's a really warm bag, you could have problems with spoilage and stuff. You want a bag that's going to kind of keep things at uh, regular temperatures and uh, not have any wild swings and freezing or heating or anything like that. So we're just gonna let that sit there for a second and while we just discuss a few thoughts about it. Any, uh, what are your feelings so far? Well, I, I really think this, so far, the thickness of the bag, I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. I, I really think this this is good for heavier foods so far. Right. That's what I'm thinking. But the warped corners in the design of the box, that's really, that's really my biggest complaint because you, there are certain foods that you're going to want the whole bottom of the bag for, and you, you don't want... Right, you have a warped, warped corner. corner. It's aesthetically somewhat disturbing. Uh, and who knows, maybe a warped corner could uh, harbor bacteria. We're not actually doing that level of a test here today. Right. We but don't. it's food for thought. Yeah. <laughs> food for thought. Food that should be in the bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I would, I, I, I would have to agree with your points there. I think in, in you know, kind of summing everything up here... Um, the bag, the box design will kind of dictate which one you will gravitate towards. If you want quick release, uh, easy to get out, uh, got the Bymart one. Uh, if you want a, a slightly heavier bag for maybe heavier food needs, the Ziploc, I think, would be your choice. Uh, again, keeping in mind the, the warped corner. Yes. Uh, and, and if you are the type that likes to reuse the bags, Ziploc, definitely you can put bags back in that one, but because of the triangular form factor of this one, we found it uh, virtually impossible to reinsert a bag back in here. Again, aesthetically pleasing. Right. It, it, you could cram one in there, obviously, but you know, you, you come along. Nobody ever wants to use that bag. Have you ever done that? You go to the drawer, yeah. and there's a bag, you know, got a whole brand new box, but and then there's another one kind of stuffed in there. You don't use the one stuffed in there because you don't know where it's been. No, even <laughs> if it's a clean bag, you right. think something's <laughs> been in there. Exactly, it exactly. Like it's used. Exactly. So uh, you don't want used bags. So uh, as we. Uh, I think we're almost done here. Let's uh, give us a reading on the, the thermometer and, uh, you know, let's see what we got. This one's kind of hard to read here. Yeah. We are rocking about uh, 26 degrees Celsius. Hmm. Um, and, oh, excuse me. Yeah, well, and I'm not exactly sure where this thermometer was before, so don't take this one too much weight. <laughs> we'll just stick this in here for two seconds and... Uh, uh, this is one of these exceedingly delicate thermometers, so you really literally only need about five seconds to get a decent reading, but we're letting it sit here for about 10 seconds, uh, so you get an extra special <laughs> accurate yeah. reading. <laughs> exactly. Um, so anyway, I think, uh, I think we pretty much covered it. Uh, uh, you know, if you have any questions or any ideas or you want to leave them in the comments about your experience with the uh, gallon size Ziploc bags, Feel free to do so. I know there's a lot more out there. These just happen to be the two that we picked at our local store. Uh, others have different things. You know, the Glad bag uh, is a little different. There's a hefty one as well. Then it's hopefully we'll be able to get do like a one big super review of all four of them and see which one wins in the perforation test, the capacity, and whatnot. So, uh, all right, I think here we go. We've got uh, oh, interesting. Oh, that's 28 and a half. Oh, look at it's rising. You can see it rising. Oh, no. <laughs> Thicker bag surface. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I can literally see the mercury rising in that thermometer. Ooh. It's uh, it's up to 30 now. I so anyway, know. just keep that in mind. If you're leaving foods lying around uh, and you're worried about spoilage, this one will, you need to get it in the freezer fast. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise that bacteria is going to be reproducing inside your, your, your chicken, you know, before mm -hmm. you put it in the freezer. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for today. We sure appreciate you coming to our channel and checking out our reviews and stuff. And uh, uh, we hope you'll continue to you know, go ahead and subscribe. And you will be the first to know our next scintillating uh, scientific reviews of uh, what you want the most. Oh, I'm so sorry. One last test. Oh. That. Yes. Sorry, we, it was the containment test. Yes. And I, at my bad, I was doing the sign-off here. And <laughs> it just shows a... a Basically, yes. So if you needed to put a bumble ball in one of these, we wanted to see if it would contain it. So right. we're going to turn it on. See, and this is what it does normally. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to see if these bags can manage this. Uh, and I'm just going to minimize Yeah, that. there we go. So it seems to 
you know, the bag's holding strong. It's not tearing at the, the zipper up here. Uh, let's give it the real test. You yes. ready? Is it oh, sealed? Yes, yes. Oh boy. Upside down, inverted, still sealed. It's vibrating. Nothing's happening. That's good. That's good. All right, that, that passes. And again, there's, there's, yeah, there's no grade here. It just either passes or it doesn't. Yes. Let's do that real quick with this one here, and we will right. let you get on with the rest of your day. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's like it's very shaky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here we go, the last one. Oh, oh boy, it's getting agitated. Oh. It's it's. This one's more difficult to zip with the bumble. It is. I size. noticed that. It is more. It, it, it was overall a little bit more difficult yeah, to zip. I think because it's all right in the middle here. It's yeah. It's difficult to align it. It is. I would be very careful. You know. Again, I think once it's in, it's in, as you saw from the test. But uh, it is hard to line up. And I can see the lines. They have the pink and the fuchsia, and uh, we may not. You know, we, we, we may not get this one here. Right? It's. Uh, I'm still <laughs> locking this in. Yeah. <laughs> you think it would be easier if it were color-coded. you think so. This is just clear, and it just... All right. right. And away. it got offset. The pink starts out in the yeah. middle, and now it's below the blue here. You don't want that. And it's... then the pink's back in the middle. Yeah. So <laughs> That's not going to work. But I, 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 I sealed it, you know? Yeah. So if this was food and I put it in the fridge, it's yeah. not technically sealed. Right. It, so we could, I could show you here, if I invert it, it might come out. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, again, we've never done this before. So it's holding. So that's impressive. It's pretty well. It's a strong seal, but it's not properly sealed. Right. And, you know, for that one, well. So bacteria could potentially bacteria get in. Bacteria could get in there. It's, yeah. This one's a harder one to seal. Right. Um, anyway, that's a... Uh, whew. I, you know, I'm glad we did that test, and I'm mm -hmm. sorry about the early goodbye, because uh, having done that with the seal here, I... I got it. I have to give it to the the Bimard. Bimard, yeah. This 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 one. That seal was not good. So, and I don't want anybody out there to go and put food in here and not seal it properly, and then something happened to you. So that's that's my call on this one. I'm gonna yeah. have to take. Uh, I'm gonna pick a winner on this one. I, I have to agree with you. If you're if you're gonna store a bumble ball or even food that doesn't move in the freezer, yeah, Bimard, definitely. Gotcha. All right. Much much easier to seal. Yeah. Well, thank you again, and see you next time. Mm -hmm.